take on it. Take a <laughs> swig of my beer. Okay, what was that? What were we doing again? <laughs> we're back to the 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 the, the, the random Reddit. We're gonna do a uh, random Reddit. Okay. Um, home home edition. Oh, random Reddit home, home edition. Home is where the hauntings are. Oh. But again, this is Jazz. And sure. And this is giving up the ghost round three. Ding ding. Ding ding ding. We're ding, back. Ding. Back Ooh. in black, bitches. Uh, in saying that, we're gonna pause for one second because. Oh, we're pausing now. I have okay. a gift situation for sure. Oh. Yes. Poor qua. Because Christmas came and went. <laughs> Uh-huh. And you had, you had that thing you had to deal with, the nerve of you. Oh, I know. That was a messed up. Oh, it's like an old yeah, Christmas tree. Oh, poor Christmas. Cher. Oh, it's heavy. Cher went through the ringer. I'll oh, just well. leave it like that. Say la vie. Wait, and close your eyes. Close your eyes. I didn't wrap it because I don't think I had one in here for you. But here you go. Oh, it's beautiful. There you are, just yours. It's beautiful. Give her some swag, glow in the dark swag. Oh, I like the color too. Oh, good. Yeah, and it glows nice. Perfect. There you go. Look at me. Perfect. My fat? It'll fit. My fat? It'll it might fits. be too fat now. It'll fit. Oh, it's so cute. It's, it Thank says you. if you got it, haunt. If you've if got, it, got it, haunt it. Haunt it, baby. Baby. Come and get it. I, don't know where that came from. I love that song. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Love exciting and new. Oh my god. Come on. Or what box. is what is that other one? We're expecting. They said for manifestation. A tiny, my look at it, my little gift. My little oh. gift's up there too, I think. I don't know which one's yours. One of those ones. This is mine. This is this yours. Is mine. Um <laughs> Christmas gifts. They say they say because I've been totally since we stopped on hiatus, I've been Doing a lot of uh, meditation. I haven't done for about a month now. Oh, okay. Month and a half. Yeah, yeah. But I was meditating twice a day and manifesting and stuff. And they say stuff like, you know, that song Love is in the Air. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you sing something like that and you put it out to the universe, money's in the air. Oh. Dun, 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 so what, dun, what was dun. I singing when you came here? You were... Uh, <laughs> that, that, uh... Oh. That, yeah, yeah. Bitch song. Oh, that's for you and Farron. Oh, ho. Heck yeah, and heck no. Oh, that's cute. It depends on what day I that guess. That is right? cute. I like it. Excellent. Okay, who will be heck? I'll be heck yeah. Apparently I'll be heck no. And then <laughs> I've got a bag of just miscellaneous stuff I've been stocking up for you. Well, Jasmine. Well, it's just shit. Just regular shit. It's just regular shit. Yeah. For what regular shit just, stuff? Just because. Ugh. Oh. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah should be something other than heck but eh, you know <laughs> try to curb our <laughs> curb our profanity right. <laughs> kind of late now what's this now i don't know <laughs> you don't know what's it's in there Christmas. i don't know that was a long time ago watch i hope it's Christmas not chocolate socks. no it's not soft i hope i mean i think i it's hope it's soft. not another t-shirt i didn't think i gave you one already what did i say <laughs> Oh, it is socks. <laughs> That's right. Mama, Mama needs, needs coffee. coffee. Oh, no, this is specifically oh, for look you. look at it. Yes. Oh, oh. See, I was hoping to give that to you when you were recuperating. You oh, know what I'm saying? Oh, like it, too. That was the idea. Like, I was, oh. I really did plan on coming when you were recuperating, but, you know. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. I'll be recuperating for probably months. So, I was looking, I was looking for stuff for you to kind of relax. That is so in. comfy. I want to wear it now, but it would be inappropriate. You can if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm okay to see you naked. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's so comfy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Aww. That's adorbsable. 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 I wanted something just for you. That's very kind. Yeah. Very kind indeed. Balls? I got you some balls. I got balls. <laughs> oh, is that ever cool? I know what this is. You know what it is? It's a it's aromatherapy a, ball. It's a snifferator ball thingy. That's yes. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. And you just put whatever stinkers you want in balls. there. I got balls and I ain't afraid So if you're going to a place and get some like sage oil, oh, throw yeah, it in yeah. there. Sure, and absorb it, right? Like just kind of soak right. it in. They're, la they're oh, lava balls. And I got, ooh, I like this chain. Yeah. That's beautiful. They're, la they're lava balls, so they're porous, right? Okay. And they won't stink in them. I don't think there's any stink in them. They're unstink. <laughs> don't shove it up my nose and lose it. Don't That'd snort it quite that hard. Well, mm -hmm. I will assemble it when I get home. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Thank you, Cher. 
That's pretty. Welcome. I'm not sharing this, and I'm not showing this to anybody because somebody's going to steal it. I just know they are. Why? You think they would? The child. She loves she this would? stuff. She would? Oh, yeah. She's a oh, thief. Thief. She candles in her room constantly. She's got aromatherapy happening. She's very, you know. Is she? Like that well, there you stuff. go. Well, That's look good. at that. See? Don't show well, her that. Peasants. Peasants. So we are continuing <laughs> on with our Reddit stories that you folks Whoa, were kindly enough right to right donate right. to us, to our cause. And uh, we're going to start off with some home haunting. Home haunting? Home. <laughs> so <laughs> you had an issue. Heard stories. <laughs> home haunting. So the first one is a uh, haunt. It's called Haunting on Toronto Street. D- take a chair. Toronto. Oh, yes. Okay. From Nikki Paris, 13. Mm-hmm. It says, a long time ago when I was in an elementary school, I lived in this house on Toronto Street near Wellington. Before moving in, the caretaker gave me and my dad a tour of the home. I was upstairs by myself when the closet door at the end of the hallway opened by itself. That's not good. Just a bit. No. Nope. It would stop there. We moved in. A few occurrences happened. One night, my mom left to go out. My dad was sleeping in his room downstairs, and me and my sister slept upstairs. I could never sleep in my own room because I always got this eerie feeling. Yeah, especially after the closet door opens. Oh, of course. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were watching Rush Hour 2. <laughs> I like that you remember the exact movie. <laughs> I fell asleep first, then suddenly when I woke up, it was pitch black and I heard someone, a woman calling my name over oh, and over. Oh, good. yuck. I don't like that no. at all. No. I got so scared and stayed under the blanket and covered my ears, counting to 100 until I fell asleep. And when I woke up, it was daylight. I definitely was not dreaming. So another time, me and my sister were sitting downstairs watching TV. My parents were in their bedroom. It was daytime. We heard someone running around upstairs, Oof. like actual footsteps, back and forth in the in the hallway. Then suddenly, whatever it was, started banging hard on the floor. Hmm. Me and my sister screamed and went running to our parents' room. My dad goes running upstairs, and yep, no one was even there. Oh. It happened here and there, the noises of someone running around. Years later, without trying to scare the new people living in there, yeah, don't tell them about that, I told them I used to live in their home when I was a child and asked if they heard anything weird. And this older lady said, yes, her grandson was always pointing at the closet upstairs, Ah. saying there was something in there. And she tells, who I assume was her son-in-law, see, I'm not crazy. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and sometimes I have strange dreams about that house. Oh, don't don't give the, yeah. Yeah. To this day, I, I actually wonder... I think it's been bulldozed and a new house is built. Oh. But you can't get rid of that energy, though. Like I That's mean, creepy as shit, no. though. That, I don't like that. Something I'm like, okay, there so stay. there was a woman there and there was running around and the closets. It's like some little kid is running away from its parent up there or, or somewhere. Something. Yeah. Maybe it could be residual haunting. I don't like, like it, that. It sure could, you know. Yeah. Um, she did give us the address because, as always, I offer if they want, anybody yeah. wants us a to peak. check things out. So. Yeah. Uh, we, have the, we have the address, and uh, I just have to open an account now. Unfortunately, I have to pay to do searches now, right? With, on everyone? Well, not is on everyone. Is it per search? It's a or membership. It, it's oh, a membership. it's a whole fucking membership, yeah, of course. So they I, always do that. I will that. do that route because I'm I'm curious, and then me and Cher will take turns. We'll I take know, but that's, and, that's so annoying. I though. know, it is. It used to be free, so. Mm. Any event, the next one is in West K from somebody called Ching Andrus. I was waiting Shenandris. for this. <laughs> man up, man up. <laughs> uh, okay, so here it says, I grew up in a house on Royal Avenue, West K, behind the Main Street McDonald's. I don't even know where to start. But, oh, that's not good. Yeah, no, that's not good. <laughs> but there was a few hidden rooms in the house filled with old books and an old school desk, mm. like the old flip-up kind style, you know, with the, the thing attached, yep. the X-hair attached or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And pictures of two little boys. Nah, that's not good. No. There was a number of situations in that house that are unexplainable, like toys flying across the room for no reason, terrifying dreams, etc. My dad claims to have been passed out in the bedroom for whatever reason. He was the only one home and he could hear two little boys playing, assuming it was me and a friend. And then all of a sudden he was tapped on the shoulder three times and turned around and nobody was there. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Do you have a little poop on? Excuse me. <laughs> I gotta go wee wee. Yeah. <laughs> More than likely that's yeah. what it was. No kidding. The most memorable experience that I had there was I was chilling at home with my mom. I was playing Aladdin on the Super Nintendo because How come everyone I'm has the man. Such specific 
because it's tied because it must have been like very traumatic right sure yeah Yeah. like you have memory you know like anybody who has like 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 when the challenger exploded you know you were you know where you were yeah you knew what you were doing you know same idea and that's how old we are (laughs) yeah um so this person was like i was playing uh, aladdin on the super nintendo because i'm the man (laughs) then all of a sudden you heard on the ceiling from the floor upstairs, what sounded like an open palm hand slapping the floor multiple times very loudly. Mm. My mom and I flipped out and went outside and then she got the neighbor to come over and we went upstairs with a baseball bat, but it was empty. Eventually my dad came home and nothing came of it. Anyway, that's all I could think of at the top of my head, but there were a number of experiences that we could not explain. My mom still uh, says my mom still has most of the documents and the shirt and straw that she felt uh, found next to the picture of these two boys, little boys. In the photo is one of them wearing said clothing of my, if my memory serves me correct, the documents were from around 1911. Why did she keep the clothes? Get rid of the clothes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Especially if a little boy was wearing said yeah, clothes. Yeah, something attached yeah. to it maybe, eh? So it says, to add to the story, in my adult life, just by chance, a closest friend moved into the house with a bundle of buddies, and it became a party house. I never heard any stories from him, but I also never really asked. I'm not yeah. too sure who lives there now, but I do know my birdhouse from when I was still a kid is still on the tree in the backyard. <laughs> I did respond to that person. I, I thanked them, mm-hmm. and I asked to pinpoint the address, because I happen to know somebody who lived... If that is the same house, right, right. they lived in that house. Oh. It was yellow. And um, I'm not friends with her anymore because she was psychotic. But uh, Probably because she lived in that house. Who knows? <laughs> well, she was quite sick at that time, too. She was uh, a very unwell person. Well, there you go. And uh, probably caused to it. Her and her husband, her first husband, were in that house. Uh, but I had lost touch with her during the, that period. She moved into this house. So... Mm-hmm. I mean, I couldn't even touch base to ask because uh, I would need a restraining order from this girl and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think I know which house that they're referring really? to. And I mentioned that to them, but they never responded back. Wow. So that's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. No. I don't like that either. Especially when it's with little kids, you know, it like if they're trapped or something, kids. you know. It's always little kids. You, just, you want them to see that they can go on safely into the next yeah. life, right? Yeah. You know, really. Um, there's another one lower down that says North End. North End, End? yeah. I was just looking at scrolled. Okay. This one is from 152 centimeters. Is that... (laughs) I'm not going to ask. I'm assuming that's the height. (laughs) As a child, I saw an orb in my old bedroom. In elementary, I saw a full body apparition in my basement. And as an older child, I remember playing rock and roll what rock, rock the ball back oh roll the ball back oh, because shit. i had uneven floor slash ghosts oh i see they rolled it and it would roll oh. back oh my god Don't i tossed the ball somewhere in the room and the ghost would roll it back to oh, me oh my god i can't say i've seen anything as an adult though i still live in this house it was built in the 70s north side no idea about who owned it before us i heard there's an archive somewhere that would tell you that and then I, I had a bit of a dialogue with them back and forth, yeah. too. But, you know, and that's the other thing. When we talk about people and their houses are haunted or where they're living is haunted, yeah. we would never divulge an address. We would investigate. No, no. But at the same time, when people have moved from an address and that house is still there, like, you'd really hate to give the address or... Because people have to, to blur live it there. out and then other people are living there. Yeah, I know. Because, but, I mean, at that point, if, the, if it's haunted, you know, you know. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. like, really, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and then I think there was one more. Uno mas? Uno, uno momento. Um, This one is just from a Winnipeg home. Oh, yes, I see it. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't give the address. Uh, And this one is from a user named Anthony Notus Son. Not his son. Not his son. (laughs) Not his son. (laughs) (laughs) Nacho cheese. Uh, Okay, so this one here, he says, I've heard voices in my bedroom at night sounding like two people having a conversation in the corner of my room. I've heard three knocks from the inside of my bathroom door in my bedroom, and then I open it up and nobody was there. Very odd. Yeah. I've had the TV turn on by itself at night, and I've had the radio turn on by itself at night. I've also heard a whistling noise in my garage when nobody was in it but me. Yeah. It says, yeah, my home was built in 1914. I figured it has something to do with the previous owners. No deaths in the home that I'm aware of. 
Okay. See, but I've never had a radio turn on in the middle of my night. Not that I know of. No. I thought I've heard conversations before. Well, yeah. I mean, I thought I've heard conversations. Actually, but I've never heard a radio turn on. And my TV is on Yeah. all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's on sometimes at the middle of the night. Yeah. So. And I mean... And like, as far as the conversations, I've had dreams where I have a conversation or something's the main action is happening in my dream. But then there's like side conversations. And I've always wondered. What's what are they saying? Yeah. I know. And then you wonder if that's that actually going on outside of right. your head because you do that with the TV. Right. It's like when you fall asleep and there's some. But shitty... I have no TV on that I can explain that. No, no. Yeah. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm being attacked by hair. Sorry. That's ah. okay. But like dreams, like I'm just so involved with like dreams. It just, cause they say, okay, like now everybody's going to be like, oh, there she goes. <laughs> but you know, like there's other realms that we go to when you sleep, you know, like there's other, we have like dimensions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you look into it further, there's a lot of actually very trusted sources who will tell you that's exactly what's happening. Right. Oh, I know. There's other realms, no, other dimensions. Like, that could explain so much of the weird shit that goes on, like, you know, cryptids and weird shit that you see. And, oh, anyway. Yeah. I could go on for hours. I could go on for hours about other dimensions. <laughs> anyway. Actually, no, they were, they were doing scientific studies on one of the pages I follow. Yes. That is very scientific stuff about yeah. finding another dimension. Yeah. Mathematically speaking, at least. Right. So, well, I mean, quantum physics. Yeah, physics. I know. And there's quantum so entanglement theory, and there's also quantum entanglement. So, they're not denying Everything it. is attached to everything yeah, in the world. They're not denying it, but they just can't prove it. Prove it. Because it's too massive for our brains to comprehend. And, and I think some aliens, we're just some aliens' ant experiment, and they're keeping us dumb purposely. That's right. And we're molding in the back of the fridge. Yeah. And that's why, <laughs> that's why we're given social media and all this kind of shit to occupy ourselves. So, yeah, was, so we're not looking. There's a there. UFO flying by. Someone's plugging the air hole up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on. Oh, my God. But, it, you know, like, take it for what it's worth. Yeah. Whatever you want to believe. I mean, I'm old. I don't give a shit what I say anymore. <laughs> so, you know, um, that's all good. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what we have for mm -hmm. Reddit stories on haunted houses in Winnipeg. Random so, Reddit like, Winnipeg. Re I, I like Reddit. I hate Reddit and I like Reddit. Sometimes it's I like a it. Weird Sometimes I hate it. It is. Sometimes it's hard for me to follow. I go in there and I'm like lost. And it's hard to take some shit seriously too mm -hmm. because things that show up on my feed and I'm like, I'm no perv. Like, yeah, why, 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 why? Then you start. Then you're like, that's gonna show up in my Google searches. Yeah, like <laughs> don't don't put me in some weird no. kinky algorithm. No, I don't need this. Don't need any algorithms oh. like that. Anyway, mm -hmm. but but if you have any stories, like definitely, please, please, please contact oh, yeah. us. At give me the ghost podcast at gmail.com. Excellent. And yeah, so we're back. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to try and be back on a more regular basis. It <laughs> just <laughs> shit happens. You never know where it is. <laughs> and thank you for the people who did actually ask, Where are you? Yes. Where are you? Why are you? Did you guys what, stop? What, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> Get back on there, now. So much <laughs> right and so much wrong. Anyway, no, no. But uh, yeah, so check us out. Any social medias, any stories, any suggestions. If you want to be on the show, definitely give us. Oh, Whoa. Hello. Power dinging. Yeah, I think that was the squad chat. Oh, is it? Yeah. I oh, there so. we go. Anyway, <laughs> uh, on that note, live every day like it is your last. But never give up the ghost. Never let go of that ghost. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>